welcome back to my channel. I am Brittany Daniel. I go by Brittany the host. If you are new to my channel, welcome. This channel is all about how to teach young adults how to live their best life, okay? We're all trying to get better with money, finances, love, and all that great stuff. So go ahead and join my online community, my fam. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and use hashtag fam down below so that I know it's real. So today we are going to do another video on budgeting and saving, but I'm gonna give you guys a few savings tips because money is a great topic on my channel. You guys love to talk about money. We'd all want more money, right? So I'm gonna give you some tips. So the first tip I have is to, and this actually saved me a whole lot of money this year, was to get rid of unnecessary small expenses. And I know, I know, I know, certain things you feel are necessary, but hear me out. Get rid of your Netflix, get rid of your Spotify, get rid of your Apple Music, all those little $7.99 here, Amazon Prime, $11.99 here. As much as I love Amazon Prime, and there's no shade to Amazon, I work with Amazon, I love Amazon, but when I had Amazon Prime, I felt like I was just ordering stuff because it was cheaper and I could get it quick. You know that 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 button, that uh, order now button is dangerous, okay? Don't do it. Just get rid of your Amazon Prime. <laughs> no, but if you get rid of like those little things like the Starbucks money and all those little expenses, they add up and they really do make a difference in your budget. So the first thing I recommend is to get rid of all the little tiny unnecessary expenditures. The second tip is to make a plan with your money before you even get it. So most people get paid one part of the month and the second part of the month. So split your bills down the middle for the, the bills that you have to pay in the beginning of the month and the bills that you have to pay in the second part of the month. Write them down before you spend a dime and have your savings plan. I have some of those tips coming up in a different video on exactly like what you should save and like the whole breakdown and all that. So come back for that but have a plan with your money write them down write down all of your bills write down how much you're getting paid and calculate before you spend a dime the best way to do it okay so the third tip is gonna be controversial and it's even hard for me to do the months that I do this I save so much money or I save at least 40 to 50 dollars a month even though it's really really hard but it's to get rid of the unlimited data one thing that I do like about getting rid of unlimited data, I spend way less time online. I spend way less time on social media. Yes, it's my job, but for the time that I'm on social media to the time I really need to be on social media, it's probably a vast big difference. And a lot of times our phone, especially if you have Apple, it tells you how much screen time you've had every day and the the hours are crazy so eliminating that unlimited data will not only save you money but it will also make you more productive the fourth tip is i i struggle with telling you guys this but it's so true it's really helped me save money is to not buy as many physical books like i love physical books i'm a sucker for physical books i love holding a book i love flipping pages i love highlighting and making notes in a physical book but to stop buying physical books and download them more on your phone it's not that great for your eyesight, but what I find is if I have one or two books that I pay for on my phone when I'm traveling, when I'm bored, when I'm on a commute, or if I'm on a flight, I'm more likely to read the book that's downloaded versus reading a book that I actually lugged around. I don't know, especially when you have to turn your, plane, your phone on airplane mode and you're just sitting on the plane, you have nothing else to do. I really do like reading on my phone. And it's just more convenient because it takes up less space. So downloading books versus buying the actual physical copy can save you some money. And the fifth tip is to stop upgrading every time a new gadget comes out. I know, I know it's hard. I know you want the new iPhone. I know you want the new watch. I know you want all those things, but I'm telling you, the, every time you upgrade, it's a premium. A lot of times with these Apple phones, they put us on payment plans that last two years, and then you look up, you spend $1,200, and then a new phone comes out and you want that one and then it's a never ending cycle of upgrades and charges and fees and all that other stuff. Being content with what you have and, and holding out for like the upgrade that's worth it or when you actually have the cash is just better for your pockets overall and it helps you establish those savings goals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If there were any tips that you guys have that you wanna share with the rest of the fam, go ahead and leave it down below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Share this video with somebody that may need it and use hashtag fam down below so that I know that you're a part of this great online community here. I love you guys so much for watching. Peace and light, I love you. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.